Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna walk through setting up and configuring PeeWeeGo. PeeWeeGo is a photo management uh, application that you can self-host so that you can store all of your photos on a local server in your house or on your own private uh, virtual server in the cloud. So let's get started. If you go to the linuxserver.io documentation page and go to the containers, container images, um, they have listed here, PeeWeeGo is one of the Docker containers. By the way, another big thing we're going to be talking about in this video is Docker. Docker is a great tool to make it easy to uh, install a web server or some sort of web application without having to worry about all the dependencies that the application requires, you know, specific runtime versions that the application might require. Containers are great for managing all of that for you. What I'll start by doing is coming down here to the Docker Compose uh, code block. Um, and this is where we'll get started. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to a terminal and I'm going to make a Docker directory. By the way, I'm also assuming you already have Docker installed. On Arch Linux, what you'll want to do to install it is run install for both Docker and the Docker Compose tool. That one we're going to be using uh, to manage multiple containers. So I've already got them installed. After you install it, you'll want to add your user to the Docker group. If you want to run Docker commands without having to specify the sudo command every time you run Docker, then after you add yourself to the group, you'll want to log out, then log back in. And then you can run commands like Docker PS. All right, so I'm here in my Docker directory, and I'm going to create a file called docker-compose.yml. I'm going to paste in what I got from the documentation page. So the main thing you'll want to do in this file is update these volumes that are being mounted. Uh, this volumes array in this YAML file has a path on your local machine that's going to correspond to a particular path within the Docker container. The Docker container has its own file system. And so you can mount directories from your local machine into the containers file system. Now, this path doesn't exist on my machine, obviously, so I'm going to change that to home Wesley Docker config, and then I'm going to create a config directory here. Okay, and then I'm also going to change this to home Wesley Docker gallery. I'll make a gallery directory. All right, so that's what I've got here in my Docker folder. The rest of this, we're gonna leave as is. So I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna run docker compose up. And then I'll download the image. I've already got the image downloaded, that's why it did it really quickly, but it'll take a minute to download your image. And then you can, you should be able to go to HTTP localhost, and then you'll wanna to go to install.php. So now you're at the installation configuration page for PeeWeeGo. Now you'll notice on this page, it's asking for information like a database, username, password, the database name. PeeWeeGo requires you to set up a database server. Now I don't want to go through and set up a whole new database. Like I don't want to install a database application on here. So what you can do instead is use another container for this. Now PeeWeeGo supports using the MariaDB database. There you are. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to come down to the Docker Compose file. I'm going to copy that out. And then back in my terminal, I'm going to stop the containers that we're running. Just hit Control C to kill that. And I'm going to come back in here, and I'm just in the same Docker Compose file. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose YAML for the MariaDB container. A lot of these settings will be the same, but you will want to change some of this um, here. So I'm gonna change the root password to some secret password. And then the database name is something that you can set up if you'd like. So I'm gonna just call it testdb1. You want a database user, so I'll call him test user. And then a password for that user. So I'm gonna say, test user secret password. Obviously you want actually secure passwords and there's ways to 
not leave your password in a plain text file like this using Docker. I'm not going to get into that right now. This is more about setting up PeeWeeGo. Okay, uh, this is a remote SQL uh, URL. I'm going to delete that line. Don't need it. And then finally, we need to mount a file path uh, for the config directory. So I'm going to change this to home Wesley Docker. We'll call it PeeWeeGo or MariaDB config. So I'm going to make another directory here called MariaDB config. Okay. Leave that port there and then we'll save it. And then again, run Docker Compose up. I don't have the MariaDB image, so it's going to take a minute and pull that. All right, now both the MariaDB image and the PeeWeeGo image is up and running. So I'm going to go back to the PeeWeeGo installation page. And for host here, you're not going to put local host in the port or anything. The Docker containers can actually talk to each other at the name uh, of the Docker image. So for example, let me show you what I mean. If I run Docker PS, that shows me all of the the running containers on my system. I can see the name uh, of the Docker image. Each each Docker or each Docker container that's running has a name. And when you're inside of one of these Docker containers, you can actually uh, access the other Docker container at the uh, name of the container here. So for host, I'm going to set it to Maria DB, and then the rest of this will be the same as the information that I put into the Docker Compose file. So this will be the user I set up, test user. Copy that, paste it there, and then the password. Copy that, paste it there, and then the database name, test db1. Copy, paste. I'm going to leave the prefix this uh, to, at the default. And then I'm going to set up a new administrator. So I'm just going to And then I'm going to uncheck subscribe, send a connection, settings, email. OK, and then I'll click Start Installation. And now the PeeWeeGo installation is complete. So I can come in here and visit the gallery. And I have just set up PeeWeeGo. And I can start uploading my photos and uh, using it like a photo gallery. I notice it doesn't like me hitting the slash local host. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill that again. I'm going to change port here to 8080. So on my local system, I'm going to access it at port 8080, and that's going to forward into the container at port 80. Docker compose up, and they're running. So now I'm going to change this to port 8080. And my application should be fully running. Cool. Let me create an album. My first album sounds good. I need to add photos, but I don't have any photos. So I'm going to go grab some photos. Let's look for photos of mountains. Mountains. There's a cool one. Download it. OK. What else? How about this one? This one looks cool. Download. All right, so we've got a couple photos. I'm going to select some photos, go to my downloads, open all those, and scroll down here and click Start Upload. And they're up. Now I should be able to come to the home page and see my first album and browse through all my photos. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you thought it was, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll hope to see you in the next video. See ya.